Okay, let's discuss very uh, schematically how a, a simple uh, QA modulator uh, should look like. Um, so we we expect to see, as as we see we saw before, two uh, amplitudes that are coming uh, from from the uh, baseband uh, input. So we see baseband I and baseband Q. We want to multiply these two amplitudes with a, a frequency uh, component of the same frequency, but we want to multiply the I with the cosine and the Q with the sine. And so we, uh, we need to create the 0, 90 degree to represent the sine and the cosine uh, on the ELO um, uh, data. And then we have two outputs for the two mixers RF1 and RF2 uh, that we can combine to see the, uh, the, R, the total RF signal. So, so if we do the trigonometric uh, calculations, it is uh, very simple to show that we take a, a um, single sideband baseband uh, signal uh, and uh, by by using the QA modulator, uh, we actually create a double sideband um, RF signal uh, that have the information of both I and Q uh, and this information can be uh, later on um, recovered when we do the demodulation we will get back the I and Q values that we uh, that we uh, have uh, put in the modulator from from the very beginning and by, by getting the I and Q basement values we should be able to recover the uh, the data that was uh, that was transmitted